an infallible guide. February 5th. God calls upon those who know his will uh, to be doers of his word. Weakness, half-heartedness, and even indecision, they only provoke the assaults of the devil. Uh, and those who permit these uh, traits uh, grown will be borne helplessly down by the surging waves of a temptation. Everyone who professes the name of Christ is required to grow up in the full stature of Christ, uh, Christ who is uh, our living head. Uh, understand that the book of James chapter 1 and verse 22, it says, Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. As we consider the word doers, in this context, it simply means one who obeys or one who fulfills the law. Now, you might be wondering how difficult it must be to be a doer uh, of the word or how difficult it must be uh, to be one who would obey uh, the law of the Lord. It is difficult when we try by ourselves. But when we uh, put Christ in our lives or allow him uh, to be a part of our lives, and if Christ works in and uh, through us, uh, the task is accomplished. Uh, we are then able uh, to do the will of God. Why not let us trust in his word uh, today? Uh, let us ask God for the power of the indwelling Christ uh, uh, to work, will and to work uh, through us. Now, that is the power of his word. Uh, why not let us ask him? Father in heaven, we just want to ask you uh, for the power of the indwelling Christ uh, to dwell within our hearts uh, so that we will have the power to will as well as the power to do. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.